It is a rare thing in television, a show that goes off the air, then it comes back. But that is exactly what's happening for Fox's hit game show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Atlanta native Jeff Foxworthy is going to be back for that new season, and we are so delighted to have him with us this morning. And we do want to thank Fox Publicity for helping coordinate today's interview. What were you saying to Ron right as we were coming on? I, I said Ron's kind of like me. He just finds ways to reinvent himself so he doesn't have to pick up heavy stuff for a <laughs> living. So, it man. beats working for a living, doesn't it? Isn't it that the truth? Is that you feel like that sometimes, I Jeff Foxworthy? I, I am the most blessed guy on the planet because I love what I do. I, I have made a great living doing something I would do for free. You know what's so funny is, okay, let's talk about the show okay, first. Okay, sure. Let's do that first. I'm going to talk about other stuff. But are you surprised at how popular it is and, and why does it stay so relevant? You know, it stays so relevant because it's a great premise. When Mark Burnett first called me, I said, what's the show about? He said, mm -hmm. adults taking an elementary school test which you think, oh, that's easy, for a shot at a million bucks. And then you, everybody thinks they can do it, and you find right. out real quickly you can. No, you can't. And this is what's so funny. How old are your girls? 24 and 21. 24 yeah. and 21. Yeah. And so mine are about to turn seven. They'll yeah. be seven this summer. And I, I laugh sometimes at some of the things and the questions that they're asking me, and I'm going, oh, my gosh, I don't remember. I don't remember from well, when you, I was in school. Well, you learned it for a test, yes. and then you didn't use it. So, you you know, it, I, I get amazed. My brain kept the file with all the words to the Gilligan's Island theme song, right. deleted everything about triangles, and we don't need that, get rid of it. But that's why the show works, is these kids learn it. And so it's one of the few shows that attracts three generations. Mm -hmm. Kids love it because it shows them in a positive light and they're right. answering things adults can't answer. Parents love it because like you, they're helping their kids with this homework uh -huh. and grandparents love it. So it's, yeah. it's you know, it's very few that. shows appeal to that. three different generations. And you know, it's funny because uh, I love you because I know you're, you're comedy and, and you're an Atlanta native. We love you. My girls love you because of Dirt <laughs> on My Shirt, which is one of your books. Yeah, I've, I've written three kids books. Two of them uh, went to the New York Times bestseller list. Uh -huh. I, and I'd always wanted wanted to do it and then when I started hosting fifth grader my daughters go dad you should do it now every kid knows who you are and so it was uh, it was a lot of fun to it. it's harder than you think everybody thinks they can write a kid's book mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they're difficult yeah I have to say this to you because I feel like I, I, I can't remember if we met before I think we may have but I feel like I know you no matter you know no matter what and I was just talking to the makeup artist you know before we came back out here and she said I've worked with him for six years and he's just who he is and I and I said to her I said you know what I said I find with people like that they know who they are on the inside and they have a real strong base on the inside which makes everything else okay and I get the feeling that's what you're all about. Yeah, the guy that I am on stage is, I mean, it's me. But but, I, but I'm so lucky. I have a great wife, married 30 years this right. year, great kids, live next door to my brother. And so, I mean, I know that show business is, I mean, it's not real, you know, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. fun and I love being a comedian and I love doing this stuff, but that's, that's what I do. It's not who I am. And I, I read somewhere once that said, you know, it, it's really about what sustains you when everything else falls away. Uh, that's what it, makes, yeah. you know, makes life real. And, and you're a man of strong faith too. Yeah, I am. I, I, I always have been. I mean, mm -hmm. you, I'm, I'm, I got up this morning. I usually work at the Atlanta Mission on Tuesday that's mornings. Right. And I'm like, oh, and leading like, a Bible no, study all, for, yeah, for, for men, homeless right? guys. Yeah, what, what made you want to do that? Oh, you know what? Because because you sit there and 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 you talk to them and you learn their stories and it could be me or you. It's just some things going wrong in life mm -hmm. and and everybody deserves a second chance. And I grew up down on the south side in Hapel where you know a lot of people needed another chance. So I I've just been lucky. So me too. Yeah. Today we're here. Yeah, we're exactly. Tomorrow, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? Today we're we're glad you're here. Oh, I'm I'm glad to be it's here. Awesome. Excited about fifth grader being back, and it's yeah, really good. Too. They did a great job with it. Great class this year. Terrific. Come back and see us. Yeah, anytime. You? Okay, you don't want to miss uh, the season premiere of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? You can catch it right here on Fox 5 tonight at 8. Again, we do want to thank Fox Publicity for helping coordinate today's interview with Jeff Foxworthy. Always good to see you. Thank you. All right, the time now is 15.